Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update. And our big high, it's moving away out to sea. This is it right over the country at the moment. It's got two centres, one to the west, one out here to the southeast, and the whole system is moving eastwards crossing the country. That's why we had a colder night for northern New Zealand with the clear skies and the calm winds. Now we've got the warmer northerlies coming through, followed by the windy westerlies, which come through over the weekend and they're going to be lingering into next week. So this is how it looks for Saturday, that big high centred right over the Auckland area, but it also is out over the Chatham Islands. It is holding on to the North Island for Saturday, although from about Taranaki and Lake Taupo southwards, you will feel that wind starting to pick up across the day and it gets windier the further south you go and the further into the mountains you go around the South Island with gales expected there. Rain heavy at times as that cold front comes in and behind it the winds turn windy westerly and that's going to be the theme for the next several days around the South Island and the lower North Island as well. So by Sunday, uh, you'll notice that southwest change moves up into the North Island. So that front really weakens, turns to showers, patchy rain, drizzle spells, things like that as it goes through, short-lived and then fairly dry behind it. Still pretty windy and those windy conditions actually will ramp up further in the South Island late on Sunday as the next cold front moves in with more heavy rain on the West Coast. Into Monday and we've got a few showers coming up from that next West Coast front. It completely uh, dissolves as it moves into the North Island. So a few showers around the western side, but it is mainly dry for almost everyone else, except for the West Coast, where once again, the uh, rain is still coming through and it could be heavy at times around Fiordland, but it's mostly south of about Hokitika, north of there, not looking too bad because we've still got a lot of high pressure rolling through. And in fact, by Tuesday of next week, in comes the high, the next one for the north of the country. Now this is further north than the current one which is nationwide. So that means more windy westerlies that will encourage the winds to blow through. So another surge of rain and wind on Tuesday, that wind, those gales could extend out into the Canterbury Plains and also around Cook Strait and it'll get colder later on in Southland. And then we get to Wednesday, very windy down here, but look at this enormous high. We measured this just before. It stretches from the far western side of your screen all the way up to the eastern side here, about 7,000 kilometres across. Keep in mind New Zealand is 1,600 kilometres north and south, so this is an enormous high. Now it could change shape a wee bit before it comes in, but it just gives you that understanding that it is looking fairly settled for northern parts of the country next week thanks to the high pressure, but that will also encourage more of those windy westerlies, that's the same theme for the South Island across the weekend and all of next week as well. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.